Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's second video within the extended USA forecast for today's second video. So we're we'll looking at mean cell pressure, 500 millibar temperature, air precipitation anomalies for the next six weeks. Going to get us into the early part of January, into the early part of 2023. Wow, wow, wow. Uh, and uh, I shall get on with that for you in a moment. Just to say that the first video today was the 6am upload. Can be live streaming our 10 to 14 day at 6pm this evening. I think it's going to be an epic, 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 epic live stream. A uh, lot of interest at the moment. So uh, that's going to be coming up for you at uh, 6 p.m. And uh, there's also going to be a Christmas update at some point. Uh, update number 10 on Christmas Countdown will be turning up. Maybe our live stream. Uh, we shall see. Watch this space. Please like, share, subscribe on the Thank you so much, everybody, for uh, doing that. Right, so we're going to start off with week one, meaning that sea level pressure anomaly taking us through the current week in North America. This is 28th of November to the 5th of December. We've got a ridge in the east. Of high pressure off the eastern seaboard with a trough of low out west. So that's bringing the coolest air into the west. And then uh, eastern, northeast air should be turning milder as the jet stream rises. North, the 500 millibar high tide from the 28th of November to the 5th of December looking like this. Again, trough of below average heights in the north and in the west and in the northwest. A ridge of above average heights in the south and also in the east. That sends the jet stream uh, northwards in that kind of direction. Temperature anomaly show a classic northwest southeast split, so below average in the west and the northwest, especially up toward the Pacific side of Canada, actually, but also through these western parts of America. At the same time, though, many central, southern, and eastern parts of America are above average, a mild and average week coming up in vast uh, majority of the United States. And the precipitation anomaly for uh, week one looks like that wettest in the west. So wettest where it's coldest, there will be risk of snow in some of those western and uh, northwestern parts of America from the from the mountainous areas of the Pacific through to uh, the Rockies. And then further east was a lot of dry weather through the Midwest and into these eastern seaboard states. Pretty dry down in the southern states too. We have got a little bit, a little bit of precipitation in the southeast, away from Florida, and also in the southwest. Right, week two is going to be the fifth through to the twelfth of December. That's how it looks. So, a bit of a change this week. You get some high pressure building into uh, the north, some lower pressure down into the southwest, of a ridge off the Pacific southwestern coast. Um, could that high pressure be sending the jet stream south a little bit into those eastern states uh, and bring some colder air into the east? It would be nice if it was, because I'm going to be <laughs> in NYC uh, <laughs> for that week. Um, the 500 millibar heights looks like that, so not really going for that, is it? So, uh, again, top of low pressure to the northwest, a ridge in the uh, south and also in the east as well. So that probably keeps those eastern parts of America pretty dry, I would have thought. The temperature anomaly, oh, well, it does show that the coldest temperatures are like in the north and possibly pushing eastwards. It's, the temperature is reducing, you know, to um, near average or no signal. Mildest temperature anomalies are in the south and in the southeast, it is still quite cold actually in uh, the west as well. So, coldest in the north and west, mildest in the south and southeast. Um, whether I get some cold, <laughs> some cold into uh, New York and whatnot, you know, uh, remains to be seen. And the precipitation anomaly looks like that. Um, you know, dry in the southeastern corner and up the eastern seaboard, there is an area of wet weather in the uh, Midwest, and then it turns drier again out into some of those western states. Week 3 will be the 12th to the 19th of uh, December. High pressure is up towards Canada uh, by this point. Um, low pressure 
uh, out of the Atlantic through here. The 500 millibar heights look like that. Now, that looks better for cold weather. I'd leave NYC, and <laughs> this looks better for cold down the eastern seaboard with that trouble of low pressure to be fair. Above average heights was Canada, and uh, that might bring the wind into a cold north or northeast. <coughs> I'm so sorry, buddy. Down the uh, east coast, the temperature anomaly. Looks like that. So pretty warm up towards Canada and uh, in the northeastern portion of the, the far northeast portion of uh, the of America. Cold down the eastern seaboard in the southeast, and still pretty cold out to west actually. Through those western parts of America, milder down there in the southern states. Uh, the precipitation anomaly looks like that. Pretty weak signals. Wettest again. From the Pacific into the West, uh, driest up here, up towards the, up towards the Canadian uh, border. Week four will be the 19th, 26th of December into Christmas. Uh, rather mysterious, so it means there are pressure on you. I should put in a big question mark. Have a look at the 500 millibar heights. Uh, they look like that. So trough of low pressure in the northwest, a ridge of high pressure uh, in the east and in the northeast. The temperature anomaly for week four, uh, mildest up towards Canada, up uh, towards the eastern side of Canada, possibly around the uh, eastern seaboard as well. Still looks pretty cold out in the uh, far west, otherwise not much of a signal. Precipitation-wise, again, it's wettest in the west and in the northwest you hear, and uh, drier up there, up towards Newfoundland. Week uh, 5, we were 26th of December, 2nd of January. Uh, now, it looks like there's a trough of low pressure maybe forming here that might send the jet stream southwards. Could that bring a cold and wintry New Year? into the Midwest and the East, 500 millibar heights with a ridge off the eastern seaboard and off the Pacific coast, and then a trough of low uh, through there. The temperature anomaly looks like that. So it's still generally quite warm on the East coast, around the eastern seaboard, and again, hints at being quite cold to the far west and northwest. And precipitation-wise, Increasingly unsettled signals, perhaps, through those northern states. And then lastly, week 6 will be the 2nd to the 9th of January. And again, we just have this ridge off the east coast uh, through there. The 500 millibar height anomaly looks like that. So uh, a ridge from the Pacific in towards the southern states and then over into the east with a trough up here. The week 6 temperature anomaly is mildest in the south and in the east too. Coldest in the far north and possibly around the west coast. And then the precipitation anomaly looks like that. So possibly increasingly unsettled uh, with above average precipitation rain and snow, of course. Moving perhaps a bit further in towards, in towards Midwest. Right, so mixed signals. Uh, mixed signals there. No sign of anything desperately cold, though, you have to say. Certainly away from the western side, where it does look a little bit cold. There's no sign of anything desperately cold into Midwest and into the East. So we'll wait and see. Uh, you know, wait and see about that. Right, well, this is the final USA forecast for a couple of weeks. I'm having a break uh, next week, day one. Of that will be uh, on Wednesday uh, when I shall be preparing for my flight and whatnot. So um, the uh, next USA forecast will be two weeks today. Uh, so uh, we're going to be back later on live streaming our uh, 10 to 14 day. I shall see you live uh, that one. There's going to be the uh, 10th Chris update coming up for you later on uh, as well. Make sure you check out 6am upload for this USA forecast for this week. That's all for now, though, and thanks for watching.